Welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Today is going to be all about this product right here. And how many of you have cracks in your driveway that you want to seal and you're thinking to yourself, okay, so what do I got to get? Well, I bet you the last thing most people actually think about getting is a can of roof repair. And uh, you know what they go for? They usually go for a caulking tube. So you go to your local uh, place where you get your caulking or you know like Home Depot, Lowe's, some kind of big places, big box stores and you buy a tube of this driveway crack repair and you get a caulking tube like this. Well you can get 13 of these tubes in one of these cans and uh, I've been doing this for so many years. I mean you take a look at how much you're paying for this compared to how much you pay for one of them cans and it's less than half the price and it does a better job because you know what when you start using this well you just can't put it down and leave it you got you got to work it into the ground somehow right so where do I use this I use it around the foundation of my house and I use it to fill the cracks in my driveway now the crack the, the crack filler that you get in the tube is about the same consistency as this this is trowel grade and I find they have a liquid too you can get this liquid and that works as well but that's only for fine cracks and it just kind of seeps in and just sits there and from one year to the next maybe two years at the most if you live in a country like Canada well you get the the freeze thaw effect and yeah you will get cracks reappear you know about every year or every two years and then you have to touch it up and that's exactly what I do so I'll bring you over to the bench here and I'll show you the product and I'll just demonstrate one thing first. This is from yesterday. So I did some yesterday. So I'm going to show you out in the driveway what I did. And, and I put it up against my house. And uh, I like to always have this buttered against the edge of my driveway and the edge of my house. So that that great big crack there just doesn't fill up with all kinds of insect nests and everything else, right? You seal it all in and you have no worries. So I just stirred it up a bit here. So I take a glob out and then I use my uh, brush, I got a disposable brush I just throw away after I'm finished. And this product dries. You got to make sure that you get one that dries. Don't get the one that stays wet and flexible all the time. But so far, yeah, most of the ones that I've looked into, I made sure that when you buy the uh, roof repair, you get the one that dries. That's very important. So let's take a look at the product here. and. Uh, I'll show you how easy it is to apply. I'm going to take you out in the driveway and I'll show you, but let's take a look at the product first. Okay, so here's the product right here, and it's, uh, yeah, it's called trowel grade. Now, they have brush grade as, as well, and you can see here's the consistency of it here. And all I do is from one day to the next is just put it in some paint thinners, and the brush will stay flexible and you can reuse it rather than throw it out. I just get these at the dollar store for a buck a piece and they're disposable more or less. So I'll just dry this off and uh, we'll go out in the driveway and I'll show you how you apply it. Okay, so I'll show you what I did yesterday and that's pretty much dried right there. And if you can take a look, now that's just the edge between my driveway and the uh, foundation of the house. And we go along the uh, water downspout here and I did that in the full sun and it took me about 15 minutes and that, that's it. So I mean, you know, that's, that, that's not hard to do and uh, I'll take you over to a spot that I didn't do yet and uh, I'll show you how easy it is to apply. Well, as you can see there, you can see how the cracks form and they will separate from the freezing to the thawing and I'm just going to overdo that and cover it over top and it will seal in nice. You can take a look on the left and you can take a look on the far right there and you can see where I just left that gap in between just for demonstration purposes. So uh, let's put this on and let's see how easy it is to apply.
Okay, so here we'll start off here right up my steps and I've already done this yesterday and then we come to the piece that I've just done over to about here and you could see how fast that is to do. And uh, I think it's a no-brainer, I think it's a great idea. And yes, I actually use it to fill in the cracks in my driveway too. So if we just take a look at this crack right here, yeah, I'll put some in that crack right there and seal it over. But you know what the, the whole idea is? You fill that crack in, you butter it in, you smooth it all out. You make sure that you don't step on this or drive on it for at least four days. Because it takes about four days for it to actually dry and cure up nice. And uh, I'll take you over to some spots that I have to redo. And you can see where I redid this one here from last year and I have to redo it again and uh, there's a good reason why you should actually do this to your driveway. So the reason why you should actually do this to your driveway is because depending on where you live, um, if you live in a, in a place where it's hot all the time and you don't have any, any winter at all, well it's not the same but if you live in a climate where there's, you have the uh, freeze and thaw well, you get water and moisture that goes inside the cracks in your driveway or towards your foundation. The water goes in there, it freezes, expands, and it busts up your driveway. So a lot of times, you know, you can save yourself a lot of money by just sealing it up. So what I'll do is I'll seal this all up completely, and then I'll get that uh, black driveway uh, uh, paint, you know, and just redo the whole driveway over because, uh, you know what, you can see all them spots. So I mean, I do that about every two years as well. But it's maintaining your driveway and preventing water to go to the foundation of your building. You know, that causes a lot of you know, damage because it'll go down your block wall and then freezes and separates and causes damage. Does havoc on the driveways. My driveway was put in many years ago and I have neighbors where their driveway is all split and cracked and you know, especially if you're parking trucks in your driveway. like. I had three trucks in my driveway and of course just the weight causes the cracks as well so you have to maintain it and this product here make sure it dries is just awesome because you know what there's no way I'm going to go through these tubes of caulking like that it would just cost me a fortune this goes on so nice you see how nice that went on and it's so easy to do take you just a couple of minutes to do around the whole one foundation of your house and maybe a half a day just to do half your driveway park your cars on the other half touch it all up, let it sit for about four or five days in the hot, hot sun, and then move on to the next half. So I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a tip and a little money-saving tip as well. So you can maintain your driveway, save yourself some money. Thanks for joining me here today. If you haven't seen this channel before, you're welcome to subscribe. Come back again, and let's have some more fun. Cheers.